There are three levels of protein structure, and you will need to be able to visually identify the difference between these three structures and name the types of bonds that hold them in these configurations. The first level of protein structure is called the primary structure, and it is simply a straight chain of amino acids, and the bond that holds this structure together is called a peptide bond. The peptide bond is the bond that holds one amino acid to another and is located between the nitrogen of one amino acid and the carbon of another amino acid. Here are a few diagrams to give you some idea as to how a primary protein molecule may be represented. As a protein molecule gets longer and longer, it starts to bend and fold and twist on itself and forms the secondary level of protein structure. There is more than one type of secondary protein structure, but the only one you will need to know for this course is the alpha helix, and it is held together by hydrogen bonds. As a protein molecule continues to get larger, the secondary structures begin to bend and fold on themselves and form the tertiary level of protein structure. This structure is actually referred to as globular, and there are four types of bonds that are involved in holding the amino acid together in this globular structure, and they are ionic, covalent, hydrogen, and sometimes sulfur bonds. The sulfur bond is the unique bond here and is often the one that questions will be asked about. There is a fourth level of protein structure known as the quaternary structure, but you do not need to know it for the purpose of this course.